Welcome to a code report C++ versus Rust video. This is going to be the first in a series of videos that I plan to release over the next couple of years, probably one every couple of weeks. So if you like this video, be sure to subscribe. First things first, we're on Godbolt, but this is a bit noisy in my opinion. So we are going to clean this up a little bit, add back the Compiler Explorer logo, and then add a Rust and a C++ logo. Let me know if you like this format. If not, we can switch to my typical style, which uses slide decks and animations, but I figured we'll give this a shot. So this video is going to focus on tuples in both C++ and Rust. The primary difference here is that in C++, tuples are implemented via a library called tuple. And in Rust, they are implemented on the language side of things. So Rust has language tuples and C++ does not, which is very sad because it's much nicer in Rust. You can see on the Rust side of things, we are declaring an immutable tuple of two integers, three and four, and then using the print line macro, we can print it out very nicely and note that the uh, output is at the bottom of the screen for both Rust and C++. And if you look closely, you can see that for Rust, we're using Rust 1.66, and for C++, we're using GCC 12.2, if that matters to you. So in C++ 14, this is typically how you would define a tuple. It's using uh, templates, two integers here, and in order to get access to each of the elements to print them, because we don't have a nice printing of tuplets facility in C++, you have to use this std colon colon get and specify the sort of element that you want out of your tuple. So zero for the first one and one for the second one. However, in C++ 17, we now have something called CTAD, which stands for class template argument deduction. And so we can actually delete the explicit mentioning of the types of our two elements in our two tuple here. So as you'll see, this prints out the exact same thing, which is quite nice, and this is making use of CTAD. Some people might also, if we're still staying in C++17, say that it's slightly nicer to do something like this. You could either do this all in line. I guess we can delete, so this all shows up on screen. Autoconst AB, this is a feature called structure bindings, which where we can basically destructure. So we're now using C++17 CTAD and structured bindings. And this uh, now gives us the ability to print out A and B. And we can delete this and actually add back our space here. Although this is actually poorly indented here. And you can actually do something very similar um, in Rust. This won't compile, but if you did this and then pass two A's and B's in here, this would work as well. But uh, because we have the print line macro, we don't need to do this. But uh, this is quite nice. However, it's still not as good as we can get if we skip to a more modern version of C++. So coming in C++23, which currently is not implemented, but we can get access to it by replacing IOStream with the format, and I believe it's in the ranges header, uh, because it's, so this is using now C++17 CTAD and C++23, the print header, which comes with the ability to print some things nicely. So if we get rid of structure bindings now, and replace this. In the future, this will be std print, but currently we're getting it from the format library because we currently don't have access to it. And if we do this now, we basically get the same thing, hopefully, as Rust. So this is a short video. I have no idea what this error is here. Looks like a, a bug or it's unhappy about something in my program. But you can see that basically Rust clearly wins when it comes to tuples. If you have C++17, you can make use of CTAD and potentially structure bindings. And if you have C++23, you can make use of std print. Currently, no library GCC Clang or MSVC implements this yet, but hopefully uh, that'll be coming soon in the future. 
So that's it for our first video. In the next video, we're going to continue to look at tuples and we're gonna look at adding the two elements inside a tuple or more than two elements. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. And as I said, feel free to subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos in the Rust versus C++ video series. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and have a great day.